Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the channel. I can't believe I'm saying this. We're here at Hollingwell Golf Club. I have zero right to be here the way I'm hacking it around at the moment, but wow. When I say bucket list, this is proper bucket list stuff. Absolutely stunning. See, this course is rated the 19th best golf course in England. And you're about to find out why. We've got another beautiful day here. The sun is out. We've got a bit of wind, but Listen, let's just play around with a smile on our faces. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. Right guys, hole number one. We're kicking things off with a par four. 340 yards, fairly straight. Fairway bunkers guarding. First tee shot, let's just get it in play. Let's just get it in play. Driver in hand. It's a little bit floaty, short of the bunker. Yeah, we'll take it. Right rough. Almost shanked it, but it's in play. It's in play. We've got a long ways in. <laughs> High spinny drive into the wind. We've got 180 yards left. It's asking a lot, but I'm going to hit a five iron down there, see what we can do. Oh no, fatted it. Another shot out of the rough, but we advanced. So we actually ended up in a good spot. I thought I'd be in the rough, but not a bad little effort with the five there. We've got first short game test here, 54 in hand. Let's commit to it. Oh, I love that. Nip, nip, nip. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> we will take that. This is quite the, quite the first hole so far. Let's see if we can cozy her in. Oh, a little bit timid, a little bit timid, but come on, big bogey putt. <laughs> bogey on the first, people. Bogey on the first. Right, guys, hole number two. We've got a par four coming up. Big, big dog leg to the left. Absolutely stunning hole it is. 413 yards though, so it's much longer than the last one. We need a good drive here. Need a good drive. I wasn't slicing anything in the warm up. Well, that's a big one. We'll work with it. It's in play, it's in play. Right, we wound up in the heather here. We've still got 238 yards to go, so I'm just gonna hit a seven, hopefully on the fairway, and then we can attack the green from there. The heather grabbed the club face like crazy. But I think we're on the fairway, so no complaints. Let's hit it again. I mean, this, this, this course, I knew it was going to be special, but wow. The green literally framed by the hills. Absolutely stunning. All right, let's hit a golf shot. 125 to the front, 150 to the back. I'm going to take a nine. Oh. Yeah, that is... Not what the doctor ordered. <laughs> okay, all right. Forget and move on, forget and move on. Yeah. <laughs> Not my best work. Uh, but listen, we move, we move. Stop that run here, 100 yards in. It's not bad, a little bit left. Yeah, I think we're putting, which is nice. Yeah, do you know what? Nice little shot, actually. Um, I've not been hitting very many greens with the wedges recently, so it's nice to put a little safe one in there. So we've now got this little slippery one down the hill, down the hill, left to right a touch. Okay. They're not quite that quick, Dennis, not quite that quick. 
Oh, in the heart. <laughs> that's, a, that's a confidence foot. Right, hole number three. We've got part five, our first one of the day. It's an absolutely stunning hole, actually. You just drive in down towards the clubhouse. It's quite rare on a hole so early. 480 yards. What you see is what you get. Driver in hand. Again. I can feel my club face opening so much. Yeah, I saw it down in the heather again. <laughs> that might be the running theme today. Lots of shots out of the heather. <laughs> We're just over here in the, in the heather shock. We will find some fairways eventually, I promise. Um, but yeah, we just wound up here. Good live, to be honest. A little bit of grass behind the ball. So yeah, this isn't gonna go very far, but it's a par five, so. We've got some wiggle room. Oh, we've tugged it left. Okay, in the first cut on the left by the looks of things. Right, in the first cut here, I've got six iron, 180 yards left to go. It's a bit left, might need to sit as well. Oh, wow. Way left. Good strike though, really good strike. Okay, so across the path, which is slightly intimidating. I've got 54 in hand. Just need to commit to it. Oh, just like that. Now sit, now sit. Okay. Honestly, I just wanted the flat stick in my hand on the next shot. We've got to put for par. This for the par, up the hill, right to left. This is going to swing a lot, actually. Now sit, now swing. Good for pace, not so great for green reading, as usual. But this is far more stress-free than we had before for bogey, so let's see if we can drop this in. It's not a good look, is it? It's not a great look. Oh, <laughs> the putting woes continue. Another painful three putt and another double bogey. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's because of you guys that I get to play courses like this. I mean, I have zero business playing Hollingwell, so yeah. Again, just shout out to you guys and shout out to Michael and the team here for having me. It is, yeah, this, this is number one. As far as courses I've played, this is, this is number one. Right, hole number four. It's a par four, fairly straight, but the fairway kind of cambers to the right. The line is, uh, <laughs> my line is up straight over this bunker. Need to get driver behaving today. Oh dear. It would be really, really nice to not hit out of the rough <laughs> for once. Slicing right and then duck hooking left. Typical. Take it in, take it in people. Stunning. So this shouldn't reach the green, but it should get close, hopefully. Five iron in hand. And I've heel shanked it. I've hosel shanked it. Right, follow me. Okay, we can work with that. Hopefully it's on the fairway. 156, wind helping. Oh, I don't really want to be long. Wind is really howling. Right, we're going to hit a nine. I'm going to hit a nine, trust it. Tugging everything left. That's probably bunker. Yeah, bunker fun. Not the worst lie in the world. I've got sand wedge in hand. Not like that. Come on, Dennis. Bunkers are destroying me at the moment.
better. Should have done it the first time. All right, we're looking at a scorecard record now. This is for the seven. It's a good putt. Oh, it's a good effort. These have to drop today. Yeah, good putt, good two putt. But yeah, that's a four. I think that's a quad snowman on the scorecard. On to the next. Right, ladies and gentlemen, hole number five. We've got a par three coming up. Really nice hole, actually. Pretty much wasteland all the way up to the green. 158 yards to the middle, 140 to the front. I feel like the wind is gonna, the wind is gonna do a lot of damage here. And the back of the green is 177, so we should be safe. That's better, that's better. Just be the number. Okay, I think we're on the green. Might have just been short, but that was a good strike, much better. Right, <laughs> I didn't see it bounce and that's because it just landed in this sort of mound before the green. So the wind absolutely destroyed that. Probably took about two clubs off. Anyway, pitching wedge in hand now. Little bump and run here. Oh, pushed it. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. I was really hoping for a nice par putt, but we've got work. <laughs> we've got work. Let's cozy up there, up the hill, right to left. Might need to sit. In what part of cozying it up there did I decide to absolutely kill it? We're in three put territory once again. Come on. Another three put. <laughs> we can't score if we keep three foot in. Another double bogey, which is just seems unfair given the tee shot, but we move onwards and upwards people, onwards and upwards. This is probably the quickest greens I've ever played on, so that's gonna play a part, but can't keep three foot in, it's killing me. All right guys, hole number six, par five, long par five, <laughs> long and straight, which is, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to be honest. Um, Need to start finding a centre with driver because it's not a short course by any stretch of the imagination. So here we go, let's tickle it down there. Yes. In the bunker. <laughs> oh, you couldn't write it. That was the best drive I've hit all day. Little draw and it's in the bunker. This game, hey? Right, I mean, absolutely destroyed me. Two feet higher, and we're literally bundling down the fairway, catch the down slope, maybe attack the green in two on a par five. We're now having to play out. Do you know what? The lie's actually good enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be optimistic here. And I'm gonna hit a nine iron to give us a chance, hopefully. So. This needs to be a good ball strike. Oh. Didn't catch it clean, so we've probably only made the best part of 60 yards ahead, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, so we're on the fairway. Two, four, seven out. See if I could hit this seven iron about 160, that should give us give us a chance to get a wedge on there so seven nine in hand hopefully the left side of that bunker let's make sure we avoid that yes yes and that's a big one come on finally <laughs> finally it's it's been a whole round I think since I found the middle like that with a with an iron that feels sweet that's probably gone easily 170. It's almost like a half swing gap wedge here. Let's see if we can execute. Oh, 
Got a little bit eager there, didn't I? Got a little bit eager. I mean, that's embarrassing. <laughs> right, so same again. I think, I don't know why, I don't know what convinced me to rush my downswing there. Just trust it. 54 this time, 50 yard pitch. Oh, that's spicy. It's very spicy. Oh, that's just typical, isn't it? One really heavy and then you overcompensate and catch it thin. We're scrambling again, we're scrambling. Little bump and run now. Pain, pain. I mean, there's no excuse for that. That is absolutely horrendous. Right to left, up the hill. Let's get the pace right. Better, I mean, marginally better. At some point in this round, I think things will start clicking. I'm hoping anyway. Good put. <laughs> Another three put. What isn't great is when I three put after <laughs> being so bad tee to green. On to the next people. It can only get better. It can only get better. <laughs> Hole number seven, par four, 370 yards. So not crazy long this time into the window. So we need another tee shot. That same one as last time would be lovely. Short of the bunker, please. Okay, looks okay. Looks okay, fingers crossed, we're just in the right rough. Not a bad drive, the wind absolutely killed it. And we are gusting into <laughs> 173 to the middle. I've got five iron, so I'm clubbing up well and truly here. It's not bad. not bad. I've got a feeling there's going to be some bunker fun up there. Didn't see it land. Um, we'll just hope it's a nice generous green that goes on for miles to the right. Not the worst strike ever, just caught the ground a little bit too much. Right then. Not actually a bad shot. I'm quite impressed actually. We just missed the green, not by much. And this is, this is a good chance now to close some of the scoring back. Let's commit to it. Oh, release. Yeah, little bit thin, little bit thin, but it's our best look at par, that's for sure. So let's see what we can do here. It'd be nice to box a 10 foot putt. It'd be really nice to box a putt here. Again, great for pace, which I'm actually so happy about. If I can start getting the pace okay, we'll, we'll be all right. Big, big bogey putt now. Confidence. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And that is a bogey, which is, believe it or not, <laughs> something to celebrate, especially today. Hopefully that steadies the shape. That was good golf in that hole. Right guys, hole number eight, par four and a relatively short one, 355 yards, something like that. I'm gonna hit driver. It's a good drive. That's a good drive, just stay short of the rough. Ah, oh, yes. Just off the fairway on the right first cut. Come on! If this big stick can start working, we'll be, we'll be in for a hell of a back nine, come on. We've got 125 yards to the flag here. I think it's pretty front. <sighs> Honestly, these wedge approaches, I feel like I'm like finishing my top swing there, finishing my back swing like here. Rotate, Dennis, rotate. Come on, Dennis, trust it. 
trust it. <laughs> this is getting embarrassing. <laughs> this, is, this is getting embarrassing. Not my best performance. The club roulette is out again. Hole by hole, what works and what doesn't. Ball below feet here, so try our best not to blade this. I mean, that worked out pretty nicely. Okay, all right. Need to make a putt now, need to make a putt. Focus in, focus in. Right to left a touch. Dead straight, wasn't it? Dead straight. Oh. Right, hole number nine. We've got a nice par three, absolutely beautiful. 145 to the flag. We've got wind helping, so a smooth nine iron should be perfect. Oh. We've got away with it, but horrible swing. Just over the back, thinned it. Oh well, up and down for par. Right, just off the back here. Could do with this going close. Could really do with this going close. Oh, I fatted it. Duffed it. It's not good. It's really, really not good. It's a great effort. One of my better efforts. Never saw it breaking that way, I'll say that. Par three double bogey after being green side. He's just not good enough. The golf at the moment is just not good enough. All right guys, we've got a nice short par four coming up next. Um, scorable, but it's very, very tight up there. I'm gonna take an iron for that exact reason. I've got five iron in hand. Oh, that's an absolute strike, that's lovely. Yeah, perfect, absolutely perfect. Right, position A, gaff wedge in hand. It's gonna be short, way short. Oh well, better strike, not the best break in the world. We'll move this just in case. Side of a hill, we've still got probably about 30 yards to go. I was gonna have to Rotate all with my torso here. It's going to come up high. Come on. It's not bad. Yeah, we're putting. We're putting. It was a good effort. So we pretty much rolled out to pin high here. But we've got about 20 feet now for the par. Pushed it, pushed it, but I mean for speed, look at that. Would have stopped dead in the hole. Stress-free bogey. That's <laughs> all I asked for today before we started was stress-free bogeys and we've not quite got it, but listen, we move. Big back nine coming up, hopefully. There's still a score to salvage. On to the next. Right, here we go. On to the next one. We've got probably the nicest fairway we've had so far. Undulations on both sides framing it lovely uh, but it's nice and short this one so it's another iron off the tee for me another five iron that last one was absolute mustard so let's see if we can replicate that oh, not quite the center of the club face there so that's gone nowhere but it's straightish so we'll take it right so first cut here on the right lost a lot of yardage I think it was a little bit Healy, um, but we have got a shot. We've got wind helping, something around 165 yards. So seven iron with the wind, if I strike it well, should be, should serve as well. I'm going over this hill. It's a blind shot to the green. Oh, Dennis. I'll have to hit that one again, Simon. It's 
going to be short. It's going to be very short. We've got about 40 yard chip. The wedges haven't been our friend today, but let's see if we can change that. No good. <laughs> the, the great strike was just nowhere near the distance we needed. Unfortunately, the golf isn't getting better. We've just moved these posts out of the way to give us a chance here. Oh, that first bounce was wicked. That was almost perfect, ladies and gents, almost. Be a hell of a bogey save, I'll say that. Now break. Oh, in the jaws, in the jaws. I mean, first properly stress-free two putt of the day. We move. Blind tee shot coming up. Hole number 12, par four again. Stroke index two, <laughs> just what we needed after that. After that, okay. Looks tricky up there, but we're gonna hit driver. I'm just trying to figure out my line here. There we go. Right. Driver in hand. A little bit of toey one, but that should be perfect. If that's not on the fairway, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I was really hoping to be coming into the spring with some form, but we seem to have regressed, which is not ideal. If anything, my handicap's gonna go up. Um, but yeah, shout out to you guys for sticking with me. Hopefully the videos are still watchable. I know I'm all about relatable golf, but this is a little bit too relatable if there's such a thing. But yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the golf improves. <laughs> By two inches, we held the fairway here. Uh, I had no idea that it was kind of rough um, between the fairways. So inch perfect, really. We've got a long old ways in, 200 yards to the green. I've got the hybrid in hand. I said right is the miss. Okay. It's actually a good strike, it's just a shame I pulled it. I can't actually see the flag. Oh no, I can. So that's my line. Ju juicy thick lie. Uh, yeah, if, if I'm putting on my next stroke, it's a miracle. Let's put it that way. Oh, that's okay. A little bit left, but I'm hoping that holds the green because that would have come out with zero spin. <laughs> right, this for the par. It looks like a straight putt, so we're gonna trust it. Oh my God. Have you ever sliced a putt before? That's just what happened. Is it focus? Is it concentration? I don't know. Burning the edges, another three put. Another three put, that chip on deserved much, much better. On to the next. Right, on to this stunning par three. I mean, this is what you pay the big bucks for. Absolutely stunning. 175, but wind is killing this, so I'm clubbing up to a four hybrid. That might be the best shot. That's the best tee shot. Thank you. That was the best tee shot I have hit in a long time. Honestly, guys, it's shots like that. <laughs> Just one shot like that around keeps you coming back. I mean, that's the best I've hit in a long time. Finding a green with the four hybrid. Okay, come on, Dennis. This has to be the first part of the round. Downhill. Great putt, just a little bit, a little bit of movement at the end there, but come on, focus in, focus in. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> 13 holes later, Bogey Golf picks up his first par. We had to work for that one. Come on, let's just see if we can finish this round playing some decent golf. I know it's in there. 
Right, hole number 14 guys, we've got a par 4, 368 yards, however it's into the fan, into wind like crazy, so it's probably playing more like 400, um, and then some. Driver in hand. Oh dear. Okay, not my best. <laughs> not my best, turned it over. Turned it over a little bit too much. Not the worst lie uh, in the world, and we've got about one, 185 to the flag here. Bit of a funky stance. I've got five iron in hand. Let's make sure, get that alignment right. Oh. Yeah, tried to step on it and now we've got, now we're in a world of trouble. We've got about 120 yards. I'm gonna take pitching wedge and just pray, <laughs> I think. It's the best way to put it. I'm hitting better bunker shots when I try and flight about 50 yards than when I actually just try and get out of a bunker. <laughs> that would have been lovely green side. About 90, 95 yards into wind. So I've clubbed up to a gap wedge. Oh, hooked it left. On the green by the skin of its teeth. Nothing new to see here, just me hoping to double put for a double bogey. Tough putt. <laughs> Up the hill, right to left. I'm over reading these greens, really over reading them. Great for pace again, but it didn't break left at all. So, actually, a good putt in terms of me saying something and hitting the putt that I envisaged. <laughs> Not so much in the result. Golf is really liberating when you've just released any expectation from yourself. That's where we are now. It's a good pop. That's what we've needed all day long, but we've been missing those time after time, but that's a double bogey. You're used to it by now, on to the next. On to the next one. Looks like a par five, but it's a par four. <laughs> Absolute monster of a hole, this one. So let's see if we can give ourselves a chance. Driver in hand. Oh, same again. It's the same duck hook that I'm hitting. Whenever I try and hit it too hard, the end result is exactly the same. Oh well, oh well. Okay, so we wound up in this, um, I think it's like a greenkeeper's path here. I'm gonna take a six iron. We play it like a par five from here. That's all we can do. Stinky lights, pretty much bare. Oh, <laughs> comes to Hollingwell, big boy Hollingwell, and hacks it around like a 36 handicapper. Better, just a little bit. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Just in the rough, good lie. Cannot complain. This looks like the smallest green in the world from here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, God. Kick down. Kick down, keep going. Yeah, bad to worse. When you're missing the green by that far from 100 yards is never, never a good look, <laughs> even for me. Need to be careful <laughs> to not move any blades of grass or it'll roll, roll down. Okay, need to give it enough beans to get it through the rough here. Oh, and a bit too much. <laughs> oh, that's the story of, story of the day. Unfortunately, we move right. Let's see if we can two put and move on to the next. It's a good pot. 
It's a good putt. It's a shame this two putt again. <laughs> All my easy two putts have been for like triple or double bogey. But it is what it is. <laughs> we move. At least it wasn't a quad, hey. Triple bogey on to the next. Right, here we go. Three holes to go, guys. Uh, not. <laughs> It's, it's been a grind once again. Um, we've got a nice hole now, shortish par four. Into the wind again, it seems to be following us around today. Dog leg to the right. It is a driver all day long. It's a good hit, but it's right. Do you know what? That's. Might be better than we think. Tiger line, but it did, took a big bounce. So we're probably hitting out the rough, but we'll be close to the hole. Right, <laughs> we are in the, in the jungle here. Funky, funky stance. We've got about 80 yards. Ball is way above. So choking down. I normally hook the hell out of these shots. So aiming to the right. Come on, let's see what we can do here. short <laughs> just trickling down into the bunker oh almost perfect this is going to be fun i think i now have to hit the bunker shot of my life it actually needs to get higher than than me so 54 in hand come on Well, <laughs> I'm just as impressed as you are. <laughs> it's a lovely bunker shot, but we're just, we just made the green, so we've got a long, long putt. But it is a putt for par. Come on, you never know. This for the par, tough putt. It's going to fall to the left at the start. <sighs> I've airmailed it. Absolutely airmailed it. Uh, it didn't break much at all, so I'm going to go straight at it. <sighs> Good port, just cannot read these greens at all. <laughs> and when I can read it, I am <laughs> like 20 feet past. <laughs> it, is, it is another double bogey. I think today we should rename the channel Double Bogey Golf. It's more realistic. Right, here we go. Hole 17, par five. We're hitting driver. Oh, again, that snap hook. In the heather. Not my best, we're snatching at it now. We're making hard work of this par five. Three wood in hand now. You have to think if I can find the centre of the club face here, we've got we've got a chance to get a green in regulation still. Come on. Oh, I've skied it. Okay, no more green in regulation, I think. Unfortunately, I've got zero chance and the way I'm swinging it is, uh, yeah, <laughs> no more words. I'm here for three. Well, I'm hitting our third shot now. Seven iron, we're not going to go for the green. Now is not the time for hero shots. Smooth swing, come on. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Unless there's a bunker down there <laughs> in the middle of the fairway. I mean, take it in. Absolutely stunning. I mean, talk about picturesque approaches. <laughs> That is just, yeah, you don't get this in many places. Only to be absolutely ruined by blading a wedge. Oh, that's the best wedge shot I've hit all day long. That was very nice. Let's just hope it's close enough. All right, this is what separates men from the boys. Come on, Dennis. It broke. 
It broke. No. <laughs> oh well, we put a good put on it. Speed was money, but yeah. These greens are tough, tough to read. Right people, the end is here, hole number 18. And my God, they saved the best till last. It looks stunning, but it's an absolute monster. 440 yards, par four, par four. All right. I mean, I ain't getting there in two. I'll tell you that much. Instead, banana slice it off planet Earth. Right, recover a shot. Oh, that's not the line. Gone from right to left, probably ran through the fairway, but we're further down there at least. How many shots have I hit off the fairway today? Not a lot. <laughs> not as many as I'd like anyway. I've got eight iron, we've got 150 yards. I would love to hit the green here. Save my graces, whatever is left of my dignity. Come on. Oh, and I've shanked one. That's probably the one thing I haven't done today, shank. <laughs> I've got them all in the locker. Every shot I've got in the locker. There we go, come on, Dennis. long please don't be a bunker <laughs> just please please don't be a bunker okay don't really have a full backswing or just about zero green to work with wow <laughs> wow <laughs> that almost looked like a professional golf shot that was that was pretty nice See, I only came in the bunker to somehow manage to give myself a pat on the back for something today. It wasn't meant to be, was it? <laughs> and today wasn't meant to be either. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Hollingwell. This place is pure, but yeah, until next time.